So a common reoccurring question I get all the time goes something like this. I have a small off-grid cabin. What does it take to run an air conditioner? How do I keep it cool using a solar setup? So today, it's nice and hot. It's a beautiful Oklahoma day. So let's put that through the test. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see what it actually takes to run a 5,000 BTU air conditioner on a small off-grid building. So let me turn the camera around. So this is my potting shed. But my potting shed is unique because it actually has a small 5,000 BTU air conditioner. So today we're going to see what it takes and how long my DIY power station will run the air conditioner. So let me go quickly over what we're going to do today. The building is about 8 by 10. It has some insulation as you can see. Again, it's hot today. It's 95 degrees. I have a 100 amp hour, 24 volt DIY power station. It's got a 1200 watt inverter in it. Very nice setup. And um, I have a little 5000 BTU air conditioner. So the question is, is how long will this run? It's about 2500 watt hours. So how long will it run? What are you gonna need? Is this big enough? Let's talk about all of that. So first of all, what we're gonna do is I have my kilowatt hooked up to it. So this will tell us how long it ran, um, how much juice it used, um, tell us all the information that we're gonna need. So I've already turned it on. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna set this thing. Oh, before I begin, let's see. It's 83 degrees in here. Again, it's 95-ish degrees outside. Not exactly sure, but somewhere in that vicinity. So I'm gonna turn my old air conditioner on and I'm gonna set it to 75 degrees. And we'll see how long it takes. And you can see this one says 82 degrees. My other thermometer says 83, so they're pretty close. I've set it to, um, let's change the mode to cool. And we're gonna set this to high. I've set it to 75 degrees and we'll see how long it lasts, how many hours it lasts. And then at the end, I'll give a recap and we'll give a real life demo of what it actually takes to run a 5000 BTU air conditioner, what you're actually going to need to do it in a small off-grid cabin. And then from there you can adjust this you know, to your size cabin. But again, this is about an 8x10 cabin, so a little bit of insulation. So there we go. We'll keep checking back and we'll see what we get. So the test has only been going for a few minutes. You can see it's already dropped it down to 78 degrees. My Bluetooth on the battery inside my power station says we're using about 480 watts. So, so far so good, everything's smooth. Um, we'll keep checking back and we'll see how it does. So a quick update, I've gone back through and I've actually changed this to Eco. Uh, that should actually help the longevity of the whole setup. So I just wanted to let everyone know I did that. Well, I didn't get here in time, but I can still tell you what I saw. So the air conditioner had gotten to temperature and had powered off because it's on eco now and the power station had gone down to just a few watts uh, fortunately I was able to grab a screen capture on my Bluetooth so you can see what I'm talking about so that really will help our test here if uh, this air conditioner can hold the temperature uh, that means that the you know the battery will last a lot longer so quick update for now um, the less this thing runs you know of course the longer the battery will last so, We'll check back. There we are, it's the next morning, and the power station still has juice in it. So I'm very pleasantly surprised that it ran all afternoon and all night. So it's about 20% left, so it should run out pretty soon. As the day warms up and the compressor's on more, um, my guess is it's like another hour or two Left and then so my test is completed. My battery is now drained and empty. Everything's shut off. So now I can answer the question that I originally posed at the beginning of this video. What does it take? This 2500 watt hour battery was able to run this air conditioner for almost 24 hours. So for my setup, my size building, an 8x10 in the shade, insulated in a place where it got 95 degrees or so during the day and 65 degrees at night, then easily a 2500 watt hour battery setup uh, was perfectly fine. 
Another thing is my inverter. My inverter is properly sized. My air conditioner never pulled more than 500 watts out of the system, and I have a 1200 watt inverter, so it was perfectly sized to handle an air conditioner. So you gotta make sure you size your inverter. The next thing is, is your solar panels. You could easily run this nonstop with 1,000 watts of panels. So if you had four 250-watt panels, it would be able to run the 450 watts of the air conditioner and also have another 450 or so watts to be able to be charging the battery during the day so then at night it could run it. And that's Now another thing that's incredibly important as well is the actual building, the actual location of the building. For example, my building is in the shade and it's well insulated. So if your building is not in the shade and it doesn't have insulation, it's going to take more energy to keep it cool. So before you do anything, plan that. So you want to maximize the efficiency of your building. If possible, put it in somewhere where it's shady. You know, the less electricity you need to use, the better you're going to be. So hopefully we move past the theoretical and the standard test conditions and all the numbers that you see and gave me some practical real life data to say, look, you can actually run a small off-grid cabin in the right location, meaning shady, in a place that doesn't get too hot, as in not the desert where it's 115 degrees. You can actually run it with a 2500 watt hour battery setup, a 1200 watt inverter, and probably a thousand watts or so of solar panels. So you can do it. You can do it pretty easily. So if anyone has any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to everyone next time.